Samba is a program where you can make Samba music using the Wiimote and self-organizing maps. Samba music comes from Brazil. You have a number of drummers, each of which plays a very simple rhythm. It's the combination of those rhythms that come together to make Samba music. The infrared sensor on the Wiimote can be used to detect up to four infrared light sources. Those light sources, in this case, are tea lights. And the tea lights can be moved around on a table. The Wiimote is on the ceiling pointing down. And you can see on the left, you have the positions of the tea lights. And on the right, you have the actual tea lights. You can see as I move the tea lights around, their positions are being determined and sent via Bluetooth to the computer. Here I'm showing the Samba interface. And with this interface, you can choose different parts of the self-organizing map. We organize the different Samba rhythms using a self-organizing map onto a two-dimensional space. And so you'd have the surdu in one corner and the uh, gogo bells in another corner and the bass drum somewhere else. And you can play up to eight individual sound sources with this interface. You can move them around until you create an interesting rhythm. This is all designed using the Marcius programming system, and this framework is a music information and creation program, and this is with a QT GUI. This all becomes really interesting, though, when you're actually using the Wiimote to detect positions and send those positions via OSC to a Marcius program with QT. You can see as I move the T lights around on the surface, their positions are being sent to the self-organizing map, and it's playing whatever sound is at that grid location. Right now I'm just moving one T light around, trying to find an interesting sound space on that self-organizing map. Here I bring in a second tea light, and you're getting two audio streams playing at the same time. With this interface, you can use up to eight sources, and you'd have four sources per remote. But really, there's no limit to how many um, um, sound sources, how many um, Wiimotes you can use with this. Right now we have two, but you can have as many as you want. And really, because the messages are sent, being sent out by OSC, you could have monomes or synthesizers or any kind of keyboard or in other input devices like the radio drum. So anything that sends out OSC, this Marcius program can interpret that data and display it. OSC is a really powerful and flexible framework for sending data between programs, and Marcius has excellent bindings for that. What I really envision the system for isn't tea lights, but is actually dancers on a stage. And as the dancers move around on the stage, they create their own music. So it's a way to co-creatively create music using um, the Wiimote and OSC. Thank you, I'm SNES.